Hey everyone! Today I am starting something I never thought I would do and you're coming with me. This is a journey. We're going together. You don't have to do it, but you're watching. Obviously, you clicked on the video. Thank you very much, by the way. So, recently I went through a change, a life change. You might have seen the video, hopefully you did. I decluttered my closet. I gave away like half of my stuff, at least. I had an unspeakable amount of stuff in that closet. It was embarrassing, it was bad. It was the messiest video I've ever done, but I had to force myself to do it. I am not an organized person. I just don't have that in me, but it was just time. I had to face the apocalypse closet. And you know what? It doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. I feel really proud of myself and I wanna do more. I never knew how hard I was making my life by making like getting dressed just a grab bag party because there was just stuff everywhere. I wanna make my life even easier. Like I, I make fun of the whole like minimalist thing like the oh, black and white, ugh, everything perfect. You have like three things and they're all black and white and they're like in your room on a rack with whatever. I don't get that, that's not me, but what if I'm missing out? So I'm ready to do a little experiment. I've heard some things, I've seen some videos, I follow a lot of people that are a lot cleaner and more organized than me, and I've heard about a capsule wardrobe. Since my closet decluttering adventure, I am just like drunk on power. I'm drunk on organization, and I feel like I can do anything. So today I am teaming up with Amazon Fashion, and I'm gonna challenge myself to try a capsule wardrobe for 10 days. I know. That's not very long. That's not how long you're supposed to do it. It's supposed to be like a way of life, not a challenge. But you know what? I'm gonna dip my toe in. I'm gonna see how it feels. This is my little flipper dipping into the pond of the beautiful life. There are a lot of different interpretations and definitions of what a capsule wardrobe means. But basically what I've gathered is it's just an effort to streamline your wardrobe, streamline your closet, all of the things that you put on your body when you don't wanna be naked. Some people include clothes and shoes and bags. I'm just gonna do clothes. That's what a lot of people do too. And you basically just wanna take it down to like a very small number. Some people do 33, 24, like it varies. But you just want to have a much, much smaller, condensed, more focused closet. So you don't have 10 pairs of jeans, you have like one or two. So when you're doing this, ideally, you're getting to wear your favorite things every single day. And that's the most exciting part to me I, I wanna wear my favorite things every day. I don't wanna like not have options, but wearing my favorite stuff every day, oh, you have my intention. And obviously it just cuts down clutter. You don't have as much stuff, so you're not having to make as many decisions about what to wear every time you get dressed. I feel like decision fatigue is majorly a thing and it's definitely been a huge thing in my life lately. So not having to overthink or try on a bunch of different things whenever you're trying to get ready, like that sounds amazing, does it not? And another benefit is it helps you kind of plan your wardrobe for your actual lifestyle. So you have to like really plan and really think like, hey, is my office casual? Uh, is it really hot this season? You know, do I need shorts? Do I need dress pants? Do I need a ball gown? I don't know your life, but you just really have to examine and you're not just like shopping willy nilly like, I feel like getting another bikini and it's like the dead of winter. You know what I mean? This is definitely something I need in my life. I need a little focus when it comes to the clothing department. You guys know this already, you've seen the hauls. So I'm excited to do this. I'm excited for it to be a learning experience. I'm definitely interested to see how I'll feel after I do this, if I want to go on and do this in the future. Will I become a minimalist? I really don't think so, I won't. I won't, you know I won't. Anyway, no more stalling. I've got some difficult decisions to make. Let's go to the closet. Welcome to my closet where I have so much space now I can hide. Isn't that why we declutter? All right, this is all the stuff, clearly too much stuff to be considered a capsule wardrobe. So right now I am picking my pieces. From what I've seen, this step can get really overcomplicated and I'm trying not to do that. Do whatever feels right for you, but I'm focusing on a color scheme, what outfits my life actually requires, and what do I really love? What clothes have I been naturally gravitating to lately? So now that I've moved everything out of the way to appear more minimalist-like, this is my capsule wardrobe. Looks pretty empty, pretty, pretty sparse, pretty bare. Feeling great about it, super confident. 
The color scheme I went for is all pink, red, black, and white. I feel like people usually go for a lot less colorful capsule wardrobes, or at least from what I've seen. I've seen a lot of black and white, black and white and gray, blue and tan and gray, you know, these kind of color schemes. Uh, but I gotta have some color. The Valentine's color scheme has just always spoken to me throughout my life. So I felt like this was the perfect moment to embrace that fully. And I generally just have a very casual life. I don't really have to do any kind of business casual at any point. Um, I can't really wear like a crop top and shorts to work, but I can definitely wear a t-shirt and jeans, no problem. And I landed on doing a five tops, two dresses and three bottoms. I really debated on what number of items I should have in my closet and 10 seemed like a nice round number. It went with 10 outfits, 10 days. 10 items. I've never done this before, so it's just an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Okay, now for the homes of the future portion of the video. This is the Amazon Echo Look. It does everything a regular Alexa does, but it also it takes photos and videos of your outfit. It will create collections of your outfits. You can also create your own collections to log your looks. It will also even help you decide what to wear. I know it sounds crazy. I'll show you how it works. It's incredibly easy and it just makes me think, where is my hover car? Hello. Okay guys, we are starting out with a bang. I clearly went for it with the Valentine's look. I'm like head to toe pink Pepto-Bismol girl. I've got rose gold, golden girl, lame slippers on. Luna is attracted to everything I've got going on. And now I'm just about to take a photo with my Echo look. Alexa, take photo. It's amazingly easy. It takes a full shot of my entire outfit head to toe. Alexa, take a video. And next up, you can take a video just as easily. And you know, photos are great, but if you do this short little video, you can see your outfit from all angles. You can see from the shoes to the top of your head, the back of your hair. I always need that one. <laughs> Here we go, day two. This is another casual outfit, but it's a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more office appropriate because I have these black stretchy pants on. They're called trousers from the brand, but let me tell you, they are just leggings, but they're ribbed slightly. So they're way more flattering and way more like real life appropriate. And as for the top, if you watch my videos and my vlogs and my Instagram stories, you are aware that this top pretty much doesn't come off my body. I wear it almost every day. I love it. It's flowy, it's cool, it's comfortable. I love the fluttery sleeves. I love the color. I can't stop with it. It's from Target and it's amazing. All right, day three, I actually had to go to a client meeting this day, so I tried to be a little bit dressed up. I know this is not like biz cash, office appropriate for everyone, but that's the point of the capsule wardrobe. It's supposed to be tailored to your needs and your life. So this works for the vibe I was going for, and I'd actually never tried this button up with the jumper dress because it's cropped and I didn't know if it would work, but by doing this experiment, it encouraged me to try a combination I never tried before, and I think it turned out really cute. Oh, welcome to day four. I am wearing a maxi star dress with some really casual lilac slides. I feel like you could dress this dress up, but you could also dress it down like I am here. I'm wearing my little black circle bag. It's just a casual day, but this dress is just, I love it. I love it. Put a star on it. I will buy it. I will be happy. And these little lavender shoes just, they thrill me. What can I say? I will say that having a maxi dress like this in a capsule wardrobe does make it a little bit more difficult to mix it up. You really have to heavily rely on your shoes and your bag and your makeup and hair and jewelry to make it look different if you're going to be repeating this dress over and over through a period of time. This is my life. Some days I'm pretending I'm business casual, other days I am little Edie on a 4th of July. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. I've had this little cropped ringer tee for a really long time and it just never stops being a favorite. As soon as it gets warm, I wanna wear it. It's just perfect for the summer, especially paired with my favorite high-waisted jeans. This is a very 70s look to me and that's just always where I wanna be in life. Give me the 70s or give me death. Okay. 
day six, and I'm just calling it everybody wants to be a cat. Even Luna, do you see? She's harassing me. I am super comfortable in this outfit, and honestly, sometimes I just feel sleek and chic and cute, and maybe like I could break into somebody's house in this outfit. It's really, really comfortable, like I said. You could probably sleep in this. The t-shirt is stretchy and fitted, and you've seen these fake trousers, leggings in disguise already. It's just a really comfy outfit, and I like wearing all black sometimes. I like color, but I also like the other side too. I like to be a cat. <laughs> All right, day seven. Yeah, these jeans are getting a lot of love in these outfits, but that's actually nothing irregular for me. I wear these jeans with everything all the time. Here, I definitely feel like I'm relying on the bag and the tassel and the shoes to kind of keep myself from being bored with this outfit. I think it's really cute, but it's kind of just there. You know what I mean? Day eight, I paired the crop top with the pinafore dress, and I don't know what it is about this t-shirt. It makes me very dancey. I'm also wearing a little scarf in my hair, which I feel like jazzes up the outfit a little bit. I feel cute, I feel comfortable. It's really warm in Texas already, so this is perfect. Day nine, I've worn these pants, I've worn this top, don't really have to go over that, but today we are doing a shoe showdown. I don't know which wedges to wear. We have these medium brown ones, and we also have the ones I've already put on. They are nude flat forms. I think both could go with this outfit, but I don't know which one to use, and that's where the Echo Look style check comes in. Basically, all you have to do is take a photo of two different outfits or two similar outfits with different shoes, different bag, whatever it is is you can't decide on, you submit them to the style check and it comes back very quickly with a decision and, and reasons why they chose which outfit. So for this one, they chose the nude shoes, but it was a really close call percentage wise. So I don't think I was way off with either choice. You can also ask the community to get even more opinions. This is basically the futuristic version of like asking your boyfriend, like which shoes do I wear? Or sending a selfie to your friends at the last minute. Like it's welcome to the future. Woohoo, we made it, it's day 10. Feeling dancey as usual. Also trying not to run over Luna with my dance moves as usual. I'm also really shocked that I didn't wear this t-shirt more because I absolutely love it. I know it's really plain, but I tried to kind of make it look a little bit different by adding a knot in the front. It does make it a little bit cropped. That's not for everybody, but it's definitely for me. I'm just wearing really comfy slides. This is just a comfy casual outfit that I really, really love. All right guys, I'm back. I did it. 10 outfits, 10 pieces of clothing. And to tell you the truth, just right off the top, I thought it would be harder. It was actually surprisingly easy. And part of me is thinking it's probably because I kind of already dress like that. Not to that degree, not to that like really like legalistic, like these are the rules, you got to follow them kind of thing. But generally, I like to wear the stuff I like to wear and it's like a small group and the rest of the stuff gets ignored or like, you know what I mean? Like you, you like to wear the newest stuff, your favorite stuff and you kind of just, you focus on little groups at a time and it just cycles through. You guys do that, right? Don't, don't we all do that? But all that to say, it actually was a lot easier than I thought. And I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to pick a group of clothing. You're supposed to curate your wardrobe with the idea of it all being interchangeable. And I was actually kind of surprised that I successfully did that. Uh, I definitely underwore the acid wash hot pink mom shorts. That, that was a mistake, that one's on me. Okay, so before I totally, totally get into what I learned, I have a list of pros and cons from my point of view, and also the other stuff that I learned along the way, my final decision, my final thoughts, the final verdict on capsule wardrobes. Yes, I am the ultimate judge after 10 days. All right, let's start with the good stuff. Obviously we knew it was gonna be less decision-making. That actually made me happier than I even thought it would. It was really great. Uh, on a side sub note under that, 
I made choices that I don't think I would have made if I wasn't limited to 10 pieces. So like the striped pink and white top under the jumper, I don't think I ever would have put that together before if I wasn't just limited to those 10 pieces. Another great benefit, which might just be like a me thing, I kind of got to dip my toe into my secret wish, not so secret, desire to dress in one color. I've always wanted to be that kind of cartoon character that just wears all one color. I don't know why I don't just do it, but this was a nice experiment that forced me into, you know, I, I had a very limited color palette, which is the idea you're supposed to do that so everything is mix and matchable. Another thing is I didn't really have the option to look bad in my opinion, you might've thought some of my outfits were bad, but I liked all of my outfits. Um, there was never a day where I was just like, oh, well, I just feel like wearing this like ugly t-shirt. Like I don't feel like in a mood to put on an outfit. So I'm just gonna kind of schlub and wear something I don't like. Do you ever do that where you're just like, today isn't good enough to wear something good? You know what I mean? So it kind of got me out of that mindset and I really got to look at like, why, why do I do that to myself? Like there are no days that don't deserve an outfit or don't deserve to to like, you know, treat yourself and dress yourself in a way that you like. That was weird. I got to kind of look at that from the outside and it was nice. I, I really don't want to go back into that mindset where I'm just like, meh, I don't, I don't deserve to dress up today or something like that. You know what I mean? And another little thing, obviously this wouldn't apply to people that were counting their accessories and shoes and bags into their number, but it made me get more excited about switching out my bags and switching my shoes and wearing different stuff because a lot of times I use the same bag for weeks and weeks just because I don't take the time to change it. But but since I was limited with my clothes and didn't have to put as much thought into that, I was more excited to switch up the bags and switch up the shoes and stuff like that. Another thing that I could see if I was doing a long term, it would help you shop less. I feel like you could, you would have to shop a lot more at the end of the season or at the end of whatever time frame you were working with, but throughout you couldn't really shop. So that would be kind of good. You wouldn't be making the same impulse purchases. You'd be saving money. That's always nice. Okay, now for the con side of the list. Obviously, laundry was a much more urgent issue. When you have a bunch of different things and you're just like, oh, it's laundry day, and like, oh, maybe you don't have time to do it and it gets pushed to the next day, it's not, not such a big deal. In this situation, it was a big deal. And it came with, you're like, oh, this is my favorite stuff. I don't wanna like overwash it. So you kind of feel like you're killing your favorite clothes. You know what I mean? Does anybody else just like, oh, well, like I only wore this like half a day. Like, oh, I can like, just like put this over here on the chair and I can wear it for another half a day and then I won't have to wash it and it'll last longer. I have a lot of schemes in my brain that probably don't make sense to other people, but I know some of you understand me at least a little bit. In this situation, you couldn't really do that. You were wearing your stuff and you feel like you're wearing it out. So I feel like if you were doing it for a whole season, you would really like wear this stuff out and you'd actually really have to like go out and get new stuff. Like maybe not your jeans, but you know what I mean? Like if it's like a Topshop t-shirt like this, maybe, you know what I mean? Also, and this could be another just me thing. If you see the same people all the time, and what you wear is kind of like a, a communication of your personality or your emotion or whatever, you're gonna get bored. You're gonna feel like something is missing and you're not bringing your full self to the table. Could just be me, but that's how I felt. And last and super obvious, it's kind of boring and it's limiting. Even through 10 days, I got sick of looking at the same stuff. I don't know, yeah. You gotta take the good with the bad. Those are my thoughts. So more of what I learned, uh, I was stunned that I could actually do it and it wasn't that hard and it wasn't that bad and it didn't kill me. Um, I don't know, it was just a cool experiment to do. I had never done something like this and like tried to be a little bit more minimalist. I, I feel like I probably could have done it with even less pieces. I probably should have, but I thought 10 was a good number. Maybe I should try this again and do it with like five. That's probably crazy. I'm gonna stop talking now. But am I gonna continue doing it? Absolutely not. I missed my other clothes. I, I missed the grab bag party. I feel like I learned things. I, this could probably be something that I bring up 
later in life. But for now, I missed my clothes and I'm definitely gonna go back to my normal self, but with the knowledge that I can go with less and it's, it's so doable and it does take just a little bit of extra thought going into it to curate your little number of stuff you have in your closet. I don't know. It was definitely really interesting. I think if you haven't tried it and you, you feel like trying it, I don't know. This is kind of like a boredom activity. Like, do you need to do this in your life? Probably not. But if you want to do the experiment, I think I thought it was fun, not fun. It was a little punishing, but maybe I like that. I don't know. It was kind of fun to me. <laughs> if you're into that, try it. <laughs> and also I really think it was helpful for me to use the echo look along the way to take the photos and the little videos so I could look back at every look that I did. And I actually didn't repeat any outfits. I didn't think that I would, but I know that over time, if you were doing this for a full season, it would be so helpful to have actual like pictures of every single look that you can look at in your collection. And you could just group them by season. I don't know. I think that would be cool. It definitely made me feel like I was like Judy Jetson, Clueless, Cher Horowitz, like, you know, where she's like looking at the computer and it's like mismatch and it's like going through all her clothes. Do you remember that? I remember that. <laughs> I had a moment, I felt like Cher Horowitz and I am not against that. I will definitely put links and more information about the Echo look if you're curious. Thanks again to Amazon Fashion for sponsoring this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do also hit the bell for notifications and you can always find me on social media. It's Leanne says everywhere and I love talking to you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna get a little liquid courage for this one. Out a collapse, a capsule, a collect. Why must minimalism be a competition? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs>